Hey everybody, Chip Wooten, the DIY Outdoorsman with you here. I got another awesome project for you. Uh, foam filled decoys. They're a new big thing, everybody's into them. You can shoot them, they won't sink, all that kind of stuff, but maybe you're kind of on a budget and you don't want to spend $200 on a dozen foam filled decoys, but maybe you got, I don't know, 10 dozen decoys in the garage. What I'm gonna show you to do, take one of these decoys, one of these old decoys, we're gonna paint it up, make it look good again. We're gonna foam fill it. It's gonna be awesome. So here we got some older decoys. Made a little work on the bill. We're going and we're gonna reflock these. But this is kind of our starting point, right? So the key here is there's a couple different ways to do this, and you may have seen other videos on YouTube. One of them, which we found out kind of doesn't work very well, is drilling in the bottom. Okay. You drill in the bottom. The problem you run into here when you drill in the bottom is that you can still get water inside of it, still gonna jack up your decoy. So what we like to do is we come in here and we drill right below the base of the tail, drill a hole right here and a hole right next to it. And what that'll do is it'll allow it to vent. And also when you're using the foam that comes in the spray can I'm about to show you, uh, the gas, when it hits the air is what makes it uh, basically puff up and turn into foam. So you need a vent for it to be able to vent. But also that stays above the water line. You don't get water in there. You can go back over it with epoxy too if you just want to make sure it's watertight. But here's an example of one that we hunted over last season. And look, some son of a bitch shot my decoys. Look at this. We got pellets in here, but guess what? Fucker <laughs> didn't sink. So there we go. I'll show you guys how to do it. All right, so what you're going to do is you want to hold it by the head. And the reason you want to hold it by the head is you're going to keep the head down because you want the foam to get into the head as well because. You know, if, some, if a cripple's running, um, somebody's gonna shoot across the decoys and they're most likely gonna shoot in the head. And so that's, we wanna make sure there's plenty of foam in there. But you're just gonna go in one of the holes right here, you see? And you're gonna start filling this joker with foam. Now I got a little bit of foam in there now, so what I'm gonna do is take that out. Do a little shaking. Make sure it's down good in there. Gonna go back in here. More of this foam. And fill it. Starting to fill up. Let this go for a second. Shake that bad boy. Go a little bit longer there. Make sure this fills up good. Let that activate for a second. Now since that foam expands, we've already put to where it's about halfway full. I'm gonna let it just sit here and it's gonna expand. And the gas, you can actually, you can kind of see the gas is coming out of here still, but it, you can put about a full can into a large goose decoy like this and maybe get four decoys out of one can of this stuff. I think you can get this for about three bucks a can on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description where you can get it. But also, uh, I think you can just go to the dollar store and pick it up too. So I'll go ahead and start on the spec decoy. And keeping up with our theme of uh, revamping your decoys, in addition to putting some uh, foam inside of them, also like these flocked heads, right? So spend an extra 200 bucks so you can get flocked head decoys. No says I, I'm just gonna flock my own. So for a few bucks, you buy the flocking, buy the paint, do it yourself, I'm gonna show you how. All right, so first step is you gotta sand the head just a little bit, just so you can kind of have something for the paint to stick onto. And that's gonna be our first step. So once I get the head sand a little bit, and it's just 340 grip, this isn't anything big or anything like that. That'll get you started. Then you're going to take you some mallard green right here. Get you, start getting painted on your head. Now you want to make sure you don't get it on the bill because if you get it on the bill, your flocking is going to stick to the bill. You can put it on here relatively generously. And guys, anything I use in this video, I'm going to put a link in the description to it so if you can buy it yourself online. Um, 
I'll do Amazon affiliate links. And the great thing about Amazon affiliates is if you click on that, it actually helps support the channel, helps support me, and I can make more videos like this. All right, so now that I got the paint all on the head, notice I didn't get any on the eyes. I'm gonna get in here and make sure you stay over your bucket. Shake that flocking on there. Put on there thick. Other side, all the different angles. All right. And then what you're gonna do is look for any spots that are kind of wet still. You see I got kind of a wet spot here still. Make sure I get all that. Get all your flocking back in the bucket. And there you go. Look at that. Got a flocked headed mallard for just a few cents, honestly. I mean, this stuff, it's cheap. It's maybe 10, 12 bucks for a pound of it. And you can probably do 10, 12 dozen decoys with it. A couple little spots I see I might have missed. Get it on there good. Let it sit for a second. That paint makes it stick. Now, if you're one of those guys that's like real particular about how your decoys look and you want to go to another step, you can actually come in here with a little airbrush and paint some black or put some, you know, some fluorescent colors around the top. When you're doing 10, 12, 15 dozen decoys like this, it's kind of up to you what you want to do. Um, you know, but for me, this is good enough. These are going to last for two, three years before I have to do it again. And it's great. If you guys do stuff like this to your decoys also, um, tell me below, like uh, make a comment or drop a like or something like that. But I think this looks a lot better than the decoys did before. I love flock tetra decoys. Uh, the only problem is they cost about 200 bucks a dozen. I can get these for about 70, 80 bucks a dozen and then I can flock them myself for a couple cents. So um, think about that. If you guys haven't done it before, drop a like also. All right, so now we got foam all the way up to the top here. This bad boy's filled all the way with foam and ready for season. Uh, this flocking is actually like three years old on this decoy, so we, you might get put back in the rotation for getting flocked and definitely repaint on the bill. But, you know, if you're hunting the same spot every day of the season, it makes sense to do this. If you're one of those people who's kind of like a public land warrior, it certainly makes your decoys a whole lot heavier. Oh, also, I forgot. This video is sponsored by High Noon. Just kidding. Uh, not yet, but maybe one day. High Noon, if you're watching this, hit me up.